You're watching Auto du Monde, and this is Tunisia. In this new episode of Auto du Monde in Tunisia, we will visit the archaeological site of Zbaitla. After that, we will go south to the city of Tauzer. In this first day in Tauzer, we will visit the oasis of Shabika, the shooting location of the English patient. After that, a big surprise. We will visit the Shat El Garza, where Star Wars have been shot. So we will visit the shooting location of this famous movie series. Very early, we leave for the city of Zbaitla, which is located in the heart of Tunisia and close to the Algerian border. The city is located southwest of the city of Tunis, a journey over three hours and 250 kilometers. Zbaitla is one of the most important archaeological sites in the country and one of the best preserved ancient Roman cities. You will see an almost complete ancient city from its imposing monuments to its residential districts. In addition to the magnificent triumphal arc dedicated to Diocletian, the city had a forum, an amphitheater and a theater. The current Zbaitla which was known in antiquity under the name of Sufetula as a particular history. The city was famous for its strategic, political and economic role in antiquity and had a tragic end in the year 647. Indeed, it was here that the first great battle between the Muslim and the Byzantine armies took place. The creation of Sufetula by veterans of the Roman army dates from the second half of the first century. When you walk through the site, you will find an urban setting that allow you to understand the progress of the Roman in terms of urbanization. Back then, the city had running water. Zbaitla reached a peak under the reign of Septimus Severus, himself native of North Africa, between 193 and 211. The houses, the forum, the temples, and the thermal baths show the wealth of the city. Little known, Tunisia and all of North Africa was Christian before the advent of Islam. The Roman city of Sufetula is a good example of this, since the remains of numerous churches have been found there. The city has several baptisteries with spectacular decorations and seven basilicas. The most famous are the churches of Peter and Paul, Pompeianus, Vitalis, and the Chapel of Jucundus. However, the real highlight of a visit to Sbeitla is the Forum. The site is one of the rare where one can still observe the ancient capital of the city. The capital remains one of the few capitals of the Roman Empire to be separated into three parts that form a single temple divided into three rooms. They are dedicated to three Roman gods, Minerva, Jupiter, and Juno. A walk in this enchanting site is a must for any visit in Tunisia. You can also see the remains of the city's thermal bath, as well as a part of its theater. After a good half day to visit the city of Zbaitla, we take the road again in direction of the south of the country, more precisely of Tauzer, a city located at the borders of the Atlas and the desert of the Sahara. 
Don't be surprised to see some flocks of sheep on the road. The distance between the two cities is 219 kilometers, but the journey takes about three hours. As we arrived in Towser, we enjoyed a stop at the supermarket before relaxing at the hotel. The next morning, we leave early in the direction of Shibika, an oasis located at 55 kilometers in the northwest of the city of Toza. It is here that the film The English Patient was partly shot. You will undoubtedly recognize some landscapes. Like us, in order to discover the charms of the place, tourists first wander through the streets of a deserted village to reach the top of the hill. Indeed, the current village of Shibika is built at a distance of this old village, which was abandoned in 1969 following deadly floods, which made more than 400 deaths. At the top, we have a breathtaking view of the region. The green of the oasis contrasts with this almost lunar landscape. Believe it or not, there is even a flourishing water resource. To visit the desert region, ask at your hotel as the ideal is to have a local guide. Several companies offer safaris for a half or a full day. These companies take you through the enchanting landscape of the back country and walk you through the desert areas of the region. For a six hour day, the price varies between $100 and $150. The highlight of this day in the desert is the Shat El Garza. The place is a famous destination for movie fans. Some scenes of the English Passion and of Black Gold have been shot here. But the place is especially known for having been the shooting location of the planet Tatooine in Star Wars. George Lucas' team shot A New Hope and the Phantom Menace here. The desert setting is worth the detour and we understand why Lucas decided to shoot his movie here. Note that the shot El Garza is 17 meters below sea level, the lowest altitude in Tunisia. It extends over 50 kilometers from east to west. First place to stop for Star Wars fan is the Rock of the Camel, Hog Jamal, where the scene of the race in The Phantom Menace was shoot. It is also here that some scenes involving Darth Maul were shot. The rocky peak in a shape of a camel is a must see. The view is splendid and the landscape will remind you of some scene from the series as you can see on this image. For those who have never visited the desert, this is a day that will fill you up. The drivers of the different company will give you a lot of pleasure to live strong emotion. 
dust on the menu and a lot, a lot of sand. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. You will never find more wretched hives come and This is the best preserved Star Wars filming site in Tunisia. It is here that George Lucas built from scratch the village of Mos Espa, which is in Star Wars on the planet Tatooine. Welcome to Mos Espa, a village where all the buildings are made of past board and which is located in the heart of Shot El Garza near Tauzer. And yes, this is not a real village, but a film set for the movie The Phantom Menace. In the film, it is here that the young Anakin Skywalker lives. After 20 years, the site is still well preserved. According to the information, after the end of the shooting of Star Wars, the Tunisian authorities will have asked that the sets remain in place to allow the development of the site as a major tourist destination. For fans of various Star Wars trilogies, this is a must-see. Strolling through the street of Mos Espa will delight visitors of all age and put you back in the atmosphere of the cult Surrey. To make the experience complete, what's missing? Maybe just Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. And to conclude the visit, what could be better than taste the desert bread baked in the embers of the sand? Before returning to the hotel, a quick look at the palm grove will delight you. We hope you like that new episode of Auto du Monde in Tunisia. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to like our videos. In the next episode, we will continue our visit of the city of Tauzer and we will go east and visit the house of Luke Skywalker. Let's see some footage of that episode.